Good morning! So I thought it would be fun to make one of those videos where you kind of list and show patterns based on a certain category of what you would like to knit. Now my category that I chose is um, either vintage style or vintage uh, tops, sweaters, blouses that are knitted of course that I would want to make, maybe. <laughs> because I did cast one of them on. All of the patterns that I chose are by one designer or um, knitter. So they're like all by her, published under her. The reason why I went with her designs more than other people that may have those type of patterns available is because the designer is actually large busted and I felt like it's more trustworthy for someone with my type, my body type, to try patterns by them because they have a more similar body type than other knitwear designers who are more slim. <laughs> so I feel like hers might fit me better. So I casted on her Blanche pattern, so I'm going to make that number one. Um, I'm going to put a picture here. I'm sorry if this doesn't look as aesthetic. It's my laptop. And I have it here so that I can look at the patterns that I saved for this video. <laughs> Anyways, so I ha did cast on uh, the one called Blanche. It's like a top with a square neckline. And I love how the ribbing looks on it, like at the corners of the like square neckline. And it's short sleeved, um, so I think it could make a good summer or like transitional piece between it being hot and cold. It's like a more mid temperature or something. Anyways, I thought it would be good and it looks really cute and the model is actually really pretty and it's just what I wanted to cast on, which is right here. So this pattern has the um, option, you can either knit it flat and in pieces, which is what I decided to do. Well, it wasn't what I initially started, try, decided to, how I was going to knit it, but it gives you the option to knit it in the round bottom up. And when I first cast on, I did do that, but after I got like an inch into knitting the ribbing, I realized that when I connected my round, it was twisted. So it was never gonna be good and I had to undo it and I was just like, I'm just gonna knit this flat in pieces even though that isn't typically what I choose to do. But I have the front piece cast on and I just finished the decreases for the shaping. So now I'm gonna be like knitting it just straight without any increases or decreases for a bit on this and that's where I am. <laughs> I am using a different yarn and needle size than the pattern suggests. I believe the pattern calls for DK weight yarn and I'm using a worsted patent classic wool yarn and my knitting needles are a couple sizes bigger I think than the pattern called for because this pattern has negative ease and I wouldn't mind it being a little bit of a looser fit. So that's what I chose to do, but you can follow the pattern. We'll see if mine turns out okay. Um, but this is what I cast on. It's in a navy blue. Um, I'm working on the front and I just cast this on. I cast it on last night, but I didn't do any of the knitting, actual working the stitches yet. This morning I started working on the actual stitches. Last night I just like cast it on and then set it aside. Anyways, that's where I am on this. I think this is going to be a really pretty top to finish. I don't know if you would call it a sweater or a blouse. A top? I don't know. But it is short sleeve and it looks really cute and I'm excited to make it. All right, pattern number two. Okay, I'm not actually listing these in any sort of order of which I would like to knit first. But all of them, I really like the designs, and I think they would be really cute when they're done. So number two is going to be, it's a top called 
Jojo. So this is just like a really cute top and I think it would be really great for playing with colors or if you have like little pieces of leftover yarn that you want to use up from other projects. But it has like a little yoke spot and then for the sleeves and the body it's like different colors that you can go through. Anyways, I thought this was cute. So this would possibly be one that I might want to make in the future. Okay, this next one I put a picture of. This will be number three. Um, the neckline is just really fun. Oh my gosh, it, it has like this spiky uh, neckline. It's called Sunshine. All right, so this pattern is called Sunray Ribbing. It has the most beautiful, like fun, pretty, spiky neckline. And I think that's just so much fun. I also really love the bright red coloring of their example piece. Um, I just think, this pattern would be so much fun in it. Honestly, I really like it in that red color as well. <laughs> All right, so this fourth pattern is called Jersey with a Soft Bow, I think. Did I get that right? I don't know. Anyways, I think it looks really cute. It has where the yoke part here is kind of plain, but then it has this texture, and it has a bow that you could tie at the neck, which may or may not irritate me. I, I kind of maybe prefer not to have bows and stuff, but in the picture it looks really cute. <laughs> this next pattern I think is number five. I'm losing track already. I might be wrong. So this pattern is called Princess Twin Set Jumper and it's really cute. It has like the yoke part, but it's like cables I think or twisted something, but I like the texture. Anyways, I just really like the texture where it's like textured at the top and then the rest of the top is just kind of plain stockinette. It gives it like a little bit of pizzazz and I just think it's really cute. But also kind of simple looking but a little bit more complicated looking just because the top section. I think it's super cute. Alright, this next sweater, I would call this, I think I would call this a sweater. It has like longer sleeves at least. But it's called, this one is called the Lion and Unicorn or Lion and Unicorn. It just has like, it's a pretty plain, um, probably like three-fourth sleeve top, but it has a lion and a unicorn color work like on the chest and I think it looks really fun and cute. I really like this one. <laughs> All right, so this next pattern is called Thick Work in Thick Wool. Quick Work. This next one is called Quick Work in Thick Wool. I think, yes, quick work in thick wool. So I'm guessing this would be like a faster knit. It seems like it might be more of a thicker, bulkier weight yarn that you use, but it's ribbed and it's really cute. I actually, I really like the open neckline. That's kind of what makes me really like the pattern. I tend to prefer patterns that, uh, sweaters that aren't like super high up on my neck. Um, it seems like really nice and comfortable and not too tight around the neck and then the ribbing makes it really like a little more form-fitting but I think this pattern is really cute okay so I actually personally don't feel like I would knit this but it is so cute that I had to include it just because it looks really adorable it's called waistcoat and cap it's just like this cute little vesty kind of and it's in the most cute adorable pink oh my gosh look at it and it comes and it has like a hat pattern you can match your little waist pink cute waistcoat and the bobbles and the there's a lot of cute texture on it i just had to include it so there's waistcoat and cap pattern <laughs> okay so this next pattern is star time dressy top star time dressy top it's an odd title for the top but it's really cute I love off-shoulder tops and dresses and stuff, so that's what draws me to this pattern. It's like off-shoulder. I would personally knit the uh, off-shoulder kind of sleeves longer than this because I feel like having it just like this kind of wide, I wouldn't want that much of my arms to show, but it's super cute. Like, this pattern is adorable, and I think it would be fun to knit. All right, this next pattern is the ribbon threaded top jumper ribbon threaded jumper um i really like the open neckline and then there's like some ribbing around it and you can weave in like a ribbon and tie a little bow 
and it just looks really cute so it has like ribbing and then there's more texture on the body I don't know that I would personally want to knit this but the final outcome is very cute I also really like the red that it's knitted in this next pattern is called the victory twin set top I believe it's a really nice basic vintage style top that um it's just like a very simple but also it has the ribbing I think this would be really cute to add as like just a staple kind of simple vintage style top I think it'd be really cute now I don't know if I would enjoy knitting all of the ribbing like throughout the whole thing but the final outcome looks super cute and very um, iconic for like a 1940s style knitted top all right this next top is actually one that I would really like to knit <laughs> this one is called golden eagle ladies jumper and the like little ribbons of um color throughout with the bows so cute I would wear the heck out of that if I actually ended up knitting it it is one of the most adorable vintage kind of tops that I have seen and I love it and it would make the absolutely most cutest Christmas top imagine it knitted in green with the color work stripes and the bows knitted in red that would be the most amazing Christmas blouse ever maybe that should be my Christmas project maybe it would be so stinking adorable I love this pattern I really want to make this one. Not right now, but maybe later. <laughs> All right, this next pattern is called the Jan sweater. Yes, I keep having to look because just I read it and then it comes, it just swoops right out of my brain. This is the Jan sweater, um, but it is very cute. I like that the neckline is pretty open. However, the boat neckline it still comes up high even though it is like more open on the shoulders and I think that kind of style is just slightly irritating because it comes up really high in the neck sometimes when it's like kind of straight across um, and open but I think this is very cute and I love the like V kind of chevrony look to it in the, the texture pattern of it. And I think it'd be a really cute summer top because it's a little bit lacy. Um, but this one I think is very cute. <laughs> All right, so this next one is called the Perfect Christmas Jumper. And it isn't lying. It's so cute. I love the like, it's bright red, which I really like reds. And it has the, the longer sleeves and it the, the little, I think they're they're supposed to be reindeer and then there's like a little bit of an overall color in like triangles. I think it would be super cute for Christmas. And um, I couldn't leave this one out. <laughs> and it's, all of these are by the same designer, by the way. Um, you can just look under her. Um, I'm looking through Ravelry. So under Susan Crawford, I would just like look through all of the patterns that I might one day want to knit by her. But, or... I just think they're cute even though I know I might not want to knit them. They still are very cute, but this is just the most adorable, iconic, cute Christmas sweater ever. It would also be really cute in green. All right, I don't feel like this is the greatest like title of a sweater, but um, this one is it's just called Young and Pretty. Um, the top, the blouse, knitted blouse is so cute though. Like adorable it has like that yoke neckline and then texture and then this ruffle that goes all the way around now I personally I know if I were to knit that I would end up hating the little ruffle um but looking at it it's very cute but I know in like for wearing it if I were to make it for me I would end up not liking it with that ruffle just for what I personally end up liking to wear and how things look on me but looking at that picture, so stinking adorable. I would love to pull that off, but I just don't think it would look very good on me. <laughs> All right, this next one is called Paneled Effect Ladies Jumper, I think. 
Yes, panel defect ladies jumpwear. I think this one is really cute and simple. I don't think it's close enough to my like neck that I would find it irritating. I think it has enough space between there that I think it would be really nice and comfortable. I think this would be great for spring and possibly even summer. Um, I like that there's just like, uh, like the design of just like kind of stripey texture kind of, and I think it's just really cute and it looks comfortable. It kind of looks a little complicated, but I feel like it wouldn't be overly complicated. Like if you are a beginner at knitting, maybe, maybe when you want to kind of branch out and start to learn more like designs and techniques, I think this would be really good. All right, this next pattern is called Knitter's Delight. Oh my goodness, it looks so good on the person who's like modeling it. It's just so pretty. It has like this kind of V-shaped, uh, kind of lacy texture design. And then it comes down in like a, a sort of stripey texture. Also the model's hair. Mm, it looks really good. How did you get your hair to look that good? When I try to do vintage styles, I cannot get it to look that good. Oh well. <laughs> But she looks so cute. The model that's in that top looks so adorable. I love the like nice kind of muted brown and just the design. It looks so satisfying with that like design up here and then like the straight lines after. I think this one is super pretty. I don't know if I would ever attempt it because it seems like you'd have to pay attention a lot to this design as you're knitting it. Like I could see myself getting confused and losing my place a lot because it's hard for me to pay attention sometimes and I easily forget where I am in projects sometimes. My brain power isn't unfortunately the best. Just this morning, like, I, for I was looking for a spoon to stir my coffee, to stir the milk and the sugar in, and in the middle of looking for a spoon, I forgot that I was looking for a spoon. And I'm like, what am I doing? I was looking for something. And then I was like, oh yeah, I was looking for a spoon so I could make my coffee. My brain does not function well in the morning. I also woke up at four in the morning. Eh, a little bit before 4.30. Because I had to get some cats ready that were gonna get spayed and spayed today. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Now that we're done with that tangent, let's go back. I think I'm almost done with my list, but let me see. All right, so the last pattern that I saved in this category of vintage or vintage style things I would like to knit, maybe eventually, but maybe I just really like them even if I would not knit them. But this is the, the call of the sea. It's a knitted bathing suit. And I think it's really adorable. <laughs> I don't know that I'd have the confidence to wear this, but it's very cute. So I wanted to include it as well, even though it's not just like a top. I mean, it covers the top, but then it also has bottoms. I think I saw that someone knitted the bottom separately, but in the pattern, I think you knit it as one. I don't know. I haven't bought the pattern. I don't know that I would even ever try this pattern, but... I do think it's really cute and it has a little colorwork bird, which is fun. Yeah. Oh, to close this out. I think I will. Oh my gosh, I had to burp. <laughs> um, I'll show you the colorwork design that I plan on adding to the vintage. That I plan on adding to my vintage blouse that I'm currently working on. Uh, hold on. Okay, if you want a sneaky peeky on what I am thinking about for the vintage style blouse that I'm working on now. So I'm knitting the Blanche pattern. Um, and uh, you know where there's the square neckline and then there's like the square ribbing? Just under that, I want to do a color work stripe that um, my inspiration is from 150 Scandinavian Motives. This book was sent to me by Tammy from my Amazon wishlist because I had it in there because I thought it looked really interesting and I am going to put it to you. So the pattern that I want to do, so like this. Um, so I'm knitting it in a navy blue 
And then along the top, I'm either going to do this stripe in red or white. And then if, if I were to like say knit this in white, then these little things would be in red. And if I were to knit this stripe in red, which I kind of am thinking I might do, then the little spotty parts in between would be white. So it's gonna be red, white, and blue. It's gonna be my like little patriotic top. <laughs> I think it's fitting because like the 1940s, it was very, it was a very like patriotic time period. And I think just red, light, white, and blue will fit for every really well. And it'll be like my little top that I wear for like 4th of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, things like that. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video because this is the first time I've made one kind of like this. And I keep hearing my roosters crow and stuff, so I'm getting very distracted by that. Anyways, thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a good day. Okay, bye! <laughs>